Deb Safe Streets is making their presence known in southwest Baltimore. Several of their members took part in a community walk and rally this evening. 11 News reporter Kyrie Stewart was there and joins us now live. And Kyrie, the organizers say the work that they're doing is having a positive impact. Yeah, that's right. So the, pretty much several of those members showed up for a walk and a rally at Carroll Park, and they said that the whole point of this is to spread their message to stop shooting and start living. What do we want? What do we want? Yeah. Safe Streets taking to the streets in southwest Baltimore for a community walk and event at Carroll Park. Trina Maple lives in this area and thinks that Safe Streets has made a difference in her neighborhood. It cut down a lot of shootings. They cut down a lot of trouble. They talk to people, communicate with folks. This comes as Baltimore police say that both homicides and non-fatal shootings are down. So far this year, the city has seen 68 reported homicides compared to 105 at this time last year. And as for reported non-fatal shootings, Baltimore has recorded 158 this year compared to 220 this time last year. It's amazing as someone who is of the Baltimore community to, to see that trend. Um, and so we're energized, but we're nowhere close to stopping. And I think if anything, it makes us want to double down on our efforts and go even harder. Stephanie Mavronis is the director of the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement, which runs Safe Streets. She believes the organization, which works to mediate conflicts before they become violent, is playing a role in helping to bring those numbers down. Safe Streets is working to make connections and build relationships with those at highest risk for gun violence, that there are many times intervening, mediating, working with, providing resources to the very people who may unfortunately be perpetrating violence in their communities. Safe Streets has faced its fair share of controversy in recent months, though. Back in October, FBI agents raided the Safe Streets office in Bel Air Edison. A man who at one time was a Safe Streets supervisor was charged with illegal possession of ammunition. Those charges were later dropped when the FBI sealed the warrant without saying why. Still, people like Maple hope Safe Streets continues its work to bring the community together more often. It helps us come together, you know, communicate with one another. And they also have an event planned at Druid Hill Park this weekend, and there are also plans for a summer basketball league across all 10 of their sites. Reporting live at City Hall, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL-TV 11 News.